Hello po sa lahat. Welcome to my channel. Sa mga hindi pa po nakasubscribe, i-click nyo lang po ang subscribe. Click nyo yung bell button and then select all for more updates. Maraming salamat. Hello everyone. So in this video, you will learn all about surface area. I'm Teacher Saldi. Welcome. We have the lesson objectives. Visualizes and describes surface area and the names of units of measure used for measuring the surface area of solid or space figures. Finds the surface area of cubes, prism, pyramids, cylinders, cones, and spheres. Solve word problems involving measurement of surface area. So, ano nga ba yung surface area? So, this is the sum of all areas of all the faces or in other references, ang tawag dyan is surfaces on spatial figure or 3D shape. So, eto, kaya sa tinawag na spatial figure kasi nga, meron siyang, meron ng space dun sa loob. So, kung kukunin mo yung space dun sa loob, ang tawag dun is volume, hindi na siya area. So, let's have the first example. Meron tayong tinatawag na cube. So, kung meron kayong dice, o kung alam ninyo yung dice, okay? so, kung papansin ninyo, merong anim na numbers yun. So, yung pinagkakabitan ng anim na numbers na yun, ang tawag doon is surface. So, kung kukunin mo yung area nun, ang tawag doon is surface area. So, pagsasama-samahin natin lahat yung anim na area na yun. Okay? So, let's have 4 cm as the given. So, Dahil cube yan, pare-pareho yung uh, side niyan. So, we have the formula. Surface area of the cube is equal to 6 times S squared or 6S squared. Ano nga ba yung S dyan? So, note that the S is equal to the side. Yan yung magiging 4 dyan. Kasi, dahil cube yan, um, square lahat yan. So, all sides are equal. Kaya, kung papansin ninyo, sa given natin, meron lang tayong isang side, which is 4 cm. So, yan yung gagamitin natin. So, surface area is equal to 6 times, so, meron tayong S squared, that's 4 times 4. So, multiply mo yung side dun sa sarili niya. So, we have 6 times 16, magiging siyang 96 cm square. So, again, Dahil area yung pinag-uusapan natin dito, square units yung gagamitin natin. So, the surface area for cube that has 4 cm as the side, magiging siyang 96 cm square. Or 96 square cm. Next, we have surface area for the sphere. So, ano nga ba yung formula niyan? So, dito sa sphere, dun sa given natin, meron tayong 2 cm as the radius. So, we have surface area is equal to 4 pi r squared. So, note that the pi is approximately equal to 3.14. So, standard value ng pi yan. So, hindi, again, hindi yan nagbabago. And then, we have the r which is yung radius. So, i-substitute natin yung value dun sa formula. Magkakaroon tayo ng surface area is equal to 4, yung una. And then, multiplied by 3.14, which is yung value ng pi, times 2 times 2, which is yung radius squared. So, again, kapag naka-square yan, multiply mo yung uh, 2 dun sa sarili niya, or kung ano man value yan sa sarili niya. So, dahil 2 yung radius natin, 2 times 2 siya. So, we have surface area is equal to 4 times... 3.14 times 4. So, kapag minultiply mo lahat yan, magiging 50.24 cm square or 50.24 square cm. Next, we have surface area for rectangular prism. So, dito, meron tayong tatlong sides na gagamitin which is yung length, the height, and the width. So, meron tayong 7 cm as the length. Meron tayong 5 cm as the height and 4 cm as width. Ano nga ba yung formula nyan? So, medyo mahaba-haba yung formula natin dito. So, the surface area is equal to 2 multiplied by the sum of yung product ng length and width 
product ng height and length and then product ng height and width. So again, yung L dyan is equal to the length, yung haba. Yung width oh, or W is equal to the width, yung, yung kapal niya. And then H is equal to height or yung taas niya. So overall formula niyan, 2 times length times width plus height times length plus height times width. So, i-substitute natin, palitan natin ng values yung length, width, and height. So, magiging siyang surface area is equal to 2 times. So, yung length natin is 7, kaya siya 7 times 4. So, yung 4 is width. Plus, height times the length or 5 times 7. Plus, height times width or 5 times 4. So, ganyan kahaba yung formula natin. Okay? So, kung i-multiply mo lahat yan, unahin natin yung sa loob. So, 2 times, yung 7 times 4 is equal to 28. Plus, 5 times 7 is 35. Plus, 5 times 4 is 20. So, PM does pa rin, or yung order na op op operations na ginagamit natin. So, again, huwag mo muna i-multiply, i-plus muna natin kasi nakaparentesis. So, the surface area is equal to 2 times 83. So, kapag minultiply mo yan, magiging siyang 166 cm square or 166 square centimeter. So, we have surface area for cone. Meron tayo dyan 5 cm as the height and 3 cm as the radius. So, let's have the formula. Medyo masalimut lang yung formula natin pero madali lang yan basta meron tayong mga values. So, so surface area is equal to pi r squared plus pi r multiplied by the square root of r squared plus height squared. So always remember the standard value for pi is equal to 3.14 and then r is radius and h for the height. So... Substituting the values, so surface area is equal to 3.14, so yung pi yun, times the radius which is 3. So yung multiply mo sa sarili niya kasi naka-exponent siya ng 2. Plus pi, again, 3.14 times the radius which is 3, multiplied by the square root of, so nilagyan natin ng parenthesis kasi yan yung uunahin natin mamayang isosolve. So r squared is 3 squared plus height squared, which is 5 squared. So, solve natin. So, 3.14 times 9, plus 3.14 times 3 times square root of 34. So, paano natin nakuha yung square root of 34? Kasi, 3 squared is 9, plus 5 squared, which is 25, kaya siya naging 34. So, wala siyang, yung 34, wala siyang square root, hindi siya perfect square. So, solve natin. 28.26 plus 9.42 multiplied by square root of 34. So, kapag sinold mo yan, kinalculator mo yan, ang magiging sagot mo is 83.19 centimeter square o 83.19 square centimeter. Yan yung magiging final answer natin. Next, we have surface area for cylinder. So, we have 7 cm as the height and 5 cm as the radius. So, ano nga ba yung formula? Surface area is equal to 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h. So, again, the standard value for pi is 3.14 r for the radius and h for the height. So, substitute natin yung values. Papalitan na natin yung mga letters or yung standard value ng pi as 3.14. So, we have surface area is equal to 2 multiplied by 3.14 times 5 times 5. So, we have r squared doon. So, yung radius, multiply mo sa sarili niya, which is 5. Plus 2 times 3.14 times 5 yung radius and then 7 dun sa height. So, pag minultiply mo yan, we have 157 plus 219.8, which is equivalent to 376.8 square centimeter or centimeter square. Again, sa final answer lang tayo maglalagay ng 
unit of measure. Since area yung pinag-uusapan, so meron tayong square units. So the final answer is 376.8 cm square or 376.8 square centimeter. Next, we have surface area for triangular prism. So, we have 6 cm as the given 7 cm and 8 cm. So, let's have the formula. Medyo masalimut din yung formula na to. Medyo mahaba. So, surface area is equal to 2A plus height multiplied the sum of A, B, and C. Ano nga ba yung A, B, and C? So, ito yung mga sides ng triangle. Since... Yung triangle natin is isosceles triangle. So, yung A natin at saka B, pareho lang. And then, yung C natin is 8 cm. So, paano natin makukuha si A? So, A is equivalent to the square root of the side multiplied by the side minus A. So, multiplied by side minus B and multiplied by side minus C. Ano nga ba yung A, B, C? So, ito yung mga sides ng triangle natin. A is equal to 6. B is equal to 6 kasi isosceles triangle siya. And then C, we have 8 centimeters. So, paano natin makukuha yung S? S is equivalent to A plus B plus C over 2 naman. Pag sinolve natin yan, makakakuha tayo ng 10 centimeters kasi 6 plus 6, that's 12 plus 8, that's 20. Over 2, that's 10. So, 10 cm yung S natin. Pero, hindi natin muna gagamitin yung uh, unit of measure. So, value lang muna. Kung baga, dito sa S, ito yung final answer niya. Final value nung S. Kaya, nilagyan ko siya ng centimeter. And then, yung A, pag sinabsitute mo yung S, which is 10, so, magiging ano yan, square root of 320. Kasi, 10 multiplied by 10 minus 6, that's 4. 10 minus 6, 4 pa rin yan. And then, 10 minus 8, that's 2. So, 4 times 4 times 2, that's 32 times 10. Kaya siya naging square root of 320. Pag sinold natin yan, square root of 320, is equivalent to 8 square root of 5 centimeters. So, again, <coughs> since yung ano natin, yung Square root of 320, hindi siya perfect square. Kaya, ginawa ko na lang 8 square root of 5. Pero, pwede mong i-calculator yan. Later on, makukuha natin kung ano yung value ng square root of 5. Solving, so, i-ano na natin. Isa-substitute na natin yung, yung values dun sa main formula natin, which is the surface area. So, surface area is equal to 2 times 8 square root of 5 plus... 7, which is yung height, times 6 plus 6. So, yun yung A and B natin, pareho lang, plus 8, which is yung base ng triangle. Surface area is equal to 2 times 8, that's 16, square root of 5, plus 140. So, kapag kinalculator mo yan, makakakuha tayo ng 175.78. So, dito na natin ilalagay yung uh, unit of measure natin, which is centimeter square or square centimeter. So, yung final answer natin, 175.78 centimeter square or 175.78 square centimeter. Next one, we have surface area for rectangular pyramid. So, ano nga ba yung formula for the surface area of rectangular pyramid? So, medyo mahirap din, pero kung may mga values tayo, madali lang siya kasi nagsasubstitute ka lang. Surface area is equal to length times width. So, yung L is length, W is width. Plus, length multiplied by the square root of width over 2 raised to 2 plus height raised to 2. So, unain muna natin yun. Plus, width multiplied by Length over 2 raised to 2 plus height over 2. So, substitute natin para mas lalo natin maintindihan. 10, which is yung length natin, times 8, which is yung width. So, plus, again, yung length natin is 10. Tapos, is square root of. So, width is 8 over 2 raised to 2 plus height raised to 2. That's 12 raised to 2. 
plus 8, which is yung width natin, is square root of 10 over 2, which is yung length, is squared plus height raised to 2. So, yung height natin is 12. Simplify natin. Surface area is equal to 80 kasi 10 times 8. Pwede mo nang i-multiply yan. Plus 10 is square root of 16. Paano nakuha si 16? Kasi 8 over 2, that's 4. Pag raise mo yun ng 2, or may exponent siya ng 2, 4 times 4 magiging 16. So, 12 times 12 is 144. Plus 8 multiplied by the square root of so, meron tayo 10 over 2 dyan, that's 5. So, 5 raised to 2 is 25. Plus, again, 144 siya. Simplify natin. So, 80 plus 10 times 4 square root of 10. Paano nakuha yung 4 square root of 10? Kasi, si 16 plus 144, 160 yun. So, kapag sinimplify mo yun, hindi naman siya perfect square. Pero, makakuha tayo ng isang factor doon na perfect square, which is 16 times 10. So, pag nilabas mo 16 sa square root, magiging 4 na lang siya. Kaya siya naging 4 square root of 10. Plus, 8 times 13. Paano siya naging 13? Kasi, si 25, pag in mo siya ng 144, that's 169. 169 is perfect square. Kaya kapag in square root mo siya, magiging 13. Ayan which is equivalent to 80. So, kinopya lang natin yung una. 10 times 4, that's 40 square root of 10. Plus, so 8 times 13, that's 104. Pag pinagsama-sama mo yan, at in square root mo siya, ginamitan mo siya ng calculator, ang magiging surface area natin is 310.49 meter square or 310.49 square meter. Ayan. So, ganyan lang siya kadali kapag meron tayong mga values. Anyway, kapag meron naman na problem na ganyan, madalas given yung formula, lalo na mahirap yung sa formula. So, that's it for the surface area. So, sana meron kayong natutunan sa video na ito. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like every video and add your comments or suggestions. Thank you.